family supporters and community members here who are actively looking forward to Shia Moore are still gathering here at the place where she was last seen here in East Orange. This is a young lady has now been added to the database for the center of the Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Some of these people are here now asking why did it take so long? East Orange residents demonstrate in front of Poppy's Deli demanding answers in the disappearance of 14-year-old Jashiah Moore. On October 14th, authorities say the girl went to the deli to buy groceries for her family and never returned home. Investigators say store surveillance video shows the girl inside with a man who appears to have made the purchase for her, but police believe the two may have gone separate ways shortly thereafter. We do have evidence showing the young lady in the general area. We do have evidence of the lady, the young lady leaving the area. Essex County officials say more than 50 law enforcement members were in Orange and East Orange Wednesday, retracing more steps and following up on old and new leaves. They are also flooding social media platforms looking for information. The FBI is here in a support capacity with our state and local partners. We called in and we're here to leverage every asset we have uh, to help reunite a mother and her daughter. On Wednesday morning, Don Shower was among several community members handing out some 6,000 missing persons flyers. As a father of two children, two adult children, I just can't imagine what it would be like not knowing where my child is. While authorities have yet to name any persons of interest, they are feeling pressure from East Orange residents to find Jashaya. Kason Little's concern is that the color of the girl's skin has not instilled a sense of urgency all these weeks later. An Amber Alert has not been issued, and literally we don't see thorough investigations at the same level as when white kids go missing. Again, as you come back to us live, we told you at the top the reward for information in this case has now been increased to $20,000. The family has also set up a GoFundMe page looking for information to help them find Jashaya. That's the very latest from East Orange. Steve, back inside to you. All right, thanks, Antoine.